You've asked for it, we've got some more hair pee for you, and today's Styling Saturday's main event is called the Sweetest Scorpion, and it is a French braid that starts from either side, and you basically go all the way over to one ear, all the way down, follow it down, and then you tuck your tail in any direction that suits you. So I'm gonna unwind the beast, and it's literally just, here's the tail, it was just one bobby pin that was holding that guy in, and one ouchless elastic. So you unwind this, and you can see that, you can see where everything has followed all the way across, across the shape of the head. So you pull all this out, as usual with all of our upstyles, we love it if you guys remain as filthy animals as possible. So brush everything out, uh, add a little bit of dry shampoo. We use the Kevin Murphy Fresh Hair or we use the Caviar Alterno, which is wonderful. Again, grab a little powder, work it through, rustle it through any area you need it. Take your brush, brush it out, and pick whatever side you feel like. And you're gonna go from, I'm gonna start from my left side, I feel like it's a bit easier for me. And when you do your French braid, try to start as close to the head, to the temple as possible. And as you uh, incorporate each of your strands, you keep hugging the hairline as much as you can. So you keep that in mind, tight as you can. And you could, if you wanted to, comb each of these sections if you had a little bit of extra time. However, I always feel that you're going to open up this French braid and make it a lot looser so it looks a little bit more organic. So don't really think there's much need for that. So keep on feeding everything in. Try to not have the, the braid get too carried away because it'll want to start coming back here. And maybe it's just laziness, but I would say try to keep that almost looking as if it's a headband. So you keep, keep feeding everything in Take these sections as much as you can. Keep pulling it in. Keep feeding from the back, feeding from the front. We're getting to the side of the ear, which is pretty, that's phase one of your upstyle. So this one takes a little bit longer, but I mean, if you can do a French braid and you're, you're pretty talented at it, it it's just, just a little bit more dedication. So that's our last section here of the front. So now, and in the back, and now I'm gonna follow this line and I'm gonna keep French braiding all the way to the other side. So keep on, keep on trucking. And you can feel around. I mean, you never really need to use a mirror you just start feeling where things are. And most of these updos that we show you, we try to make sure that they're as straightforward as possible or else you really wouldn't do them and then this would be a waste of everybody's time. So we gotta keep them being as interesting and as organic as possible. So keep feeding that in. We're almost getting to the other side. So there we go there. And then the exact same thing, you're gonna feed from the bottom now. Very nape. And you're gonna eventually end up with a scorpion tail. The sweetest, of course. And so we've got all, I can feel that most of the nape is almost there. And now if you, I would say for this guy, I mean medium length hair is probably suffice. Um, long hair, of course, you'll get to this part and you'll be, you'll be a little tired with your arms behind you. So one more, one more guy and that's, I believe everything. So you can keep, keep
keep braiding it, or if you give up, you can go through the front and then keep fin fin finishing that guy up. So keep going. Now what's gonna happen now? This is where you make it look, I mean you can keep it like this, it doesn't look, it doesn't look unsavory, but I do feel like sometimes it's a little bit too staunch of a look. So you're gonna get your ouchless Sephora, Sephora elastic, those bad boys, and you throw that on the end, and you're gonna start at the tail, and you are going to pull everything out. So you're gonna start at the bottom and really start opening that braid up as much as you can, because that's what's going to fill in the gaps here. So the idea of the finale of this is almost the mo most important part. You're really trying to open this up so it covers up all the lines. So for example, this line here, we don't wanna see this from the back. We want to really expand that braid as much as you can. And now I actually have a little bit of a tricky thing because I have a grown up fringe. So if I go too open, uh, it will actually kind of start to sprout out as you can see. So keep on opening that as much as you're happy. And the good thing about that is then you don't have a tension headache throughout the day. Cause I do notice when anything's a bit too tight, starts to be a little bit, starts to get upset. So now keep on going. Now the tail, you either leave it out or you're going to tuck it. So you're either gonna wrap it, this is how I had it wrapped around with the tail under, or you could go and wrap it here so it would look like a continual circle, serpent, or you can you know, tuck it in and create something like that, or you can go the opposite and make it go all the way up here. So I'm gonna take a look at this myself to see what shenanigans have happened. So yeah, so you'll notice that there still is a little bit of line there, and I don't wanna see that at all. So I'm gonna use my fingers and kind of dig into that and pull it open. So that way it, it really closes up all of that. So it becomes a really, really, really full, full braid. And you can kind of put your fingers in and smush it with your two fingers open so everything looks very symmetrical, like so. Then your finale is you're going to put your little tail right underneath so no one can see where the end is and that's what makes it look so magical. And that, a little bit out, is your sweetest scorpion. <laughs>